Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about recurring decimals and this is something that sometimes you see on a GCSE or equivalent paper it's usually around about A, A star, something like that and the question will be um, prove that 0.24 recurring is the same as um, 8 over 33 Okay, so it's obviously a lot easier to deal with a fraction. The problem you've got here is this 0.24 recurring basically means 0.242424244 and so on and so on. So really what we've got to do is find a way of converting this recurring decimal to its equivalent fraction. And the way that we do that is we use algebraic proof. So I'm going to say let n, and it could be n or x or whatever you want, equals 0.242424 and so on and so on. So that's the value of n that I'm going to use. Now because what I want to do is get rid of this, uh, essentially I'm going to then multiply it by 100. So if I say let um, 100n will be exactly the same as that. What I'm going to do is move the decimal point two places because I'm multiplying by 100. So if I move the decimal point two places, I get 24.242424 and so on. Well, now I'm in a position that I can actually get rid of this bit by taking this bit away from it. So you might need to just pause the video at that particular moment. But what we've got is if I say, well, minus n, well, n is this. So I'm going to minus 0.242424 recurring and I'm going to take one away from the other. So what I've got now is a situation where I can create um, an algebraic equation. So I've got 100n take away n is 99n and on this side I've got 24.242424 so on minus 0.242424 so on. Take one away from the other and actually I get left with 24. Well if I've got 99n equals 24, I've got uh, a fairly simple equation. If I divide both sides by 99, it means I get a value of n. So n equals 24 divided by 99. And then if I reduce that down by dividing the top and bottom by 3, I get n equals 8 over 33. So that's how you can prove a recurring decimal and the word is recurring decimal is a fraction. Um, sometimes on some of the papers that you see, you might find that you've got um, three digits over here. Well, in that case, you would multiply by a thousand and take n away. If you did it that way and followed the logic through, you should find that you should be able to score a couple of marks on a, a fairly high level GCSE or equivalent paper. I hope that's been helpful. I look forward to seeing you inside the next three minutes.